Alright everyone, welcome back to another Outlast 2 video. Today guys, I will be talking about two characters from the game, giving you uh, their story, who they are, what they've been through and stuff like that, to the amount that the game devs has given us. This was asked, um, these two characters were asked about many times from my previous video, and uh, the first one is Marta, the seven foot tall woman with a giant cross, just killing people, slicing them up. And the other is Val, that the leader of the heretics, the one woman, uh, the short haired woman that you've only seen a few times throughout the whole game. It was kind of confusing who she was, basically. But um, in this video, hopefully I'll clear it up. So let's get right to it. So, first off, we're going to go with Marta. So, Marta is basically the sheriff of the town. She is the witness, the judge, and the executioner. The reason <clears throat> that she's doing this is because a, the little background we actually know of her, as a child, she was fostered, taken in by Noth, the leader of the cult, uh, the, the cult. And they became close friends, intimate in some cases, from what the documents say. And she's always been in that place with Noth. So Noth has been telling Marta to go out and cleanse the world, cleanse the village by killing people. That's why she goes around killing anyone. She is the only person with true authority to go out and just kill everyone instantly like that. And it is done for the reason of the Temple Gate, which explains in a document that it is the gate to heaven in the end times. And if all of every person that's cleansed, that the gate would open. And basically, Marta, Marta's main goal is to go around and kill anyone with sin, and listen to this, before they even commit a sin. That's why she's just going around slicing them up, because her goal was to kill anyone who even thinks of it before they even do it. Kind of like that one movie, I forgot what it's called, where they go back in time and they know what's going to what's gonna happen or whatnot, but it's pretty cool. Um, a little bit more in-depth about this with this character from a document we got is that she knows what she is doing is wrong and she doesn't want to do it she knows that it's a, a sin to murder and all this stuff but because of that close relationship with Noth she doesn't she believes him instead he encourages her to do it to gain access to the temple gate basically so she knows that she's doing wrong but because of that relationship with Noth she cannot get out of it and stop killing basically um, it's a pretty cool little story, our backstory about Marta. Um, not much else is known, all that she is very tall, very strong. Um, she is very, uh, what's the right word? Uh, cruel when she is killing people, so it's pretty cool. And she does die, sadly, in the end, I think. <clears throat> I think she dies, because we she is impelled by a cross at the very end, a pretty bad um, boss battle. I'm not going to lie. You don't do nothing. You don't press any buttons. It just, she comes at you and dead. Maybe. We don't know because this is Outlast. You know that she could be come back. You never know. But let's move on to Val. That was Marta. That is all we have on Marta. Sadly, hopefully they give us a little bit more insight on this character because it does seem that she is very um, unique. So let's let's go to Val. Now let's talk about Val, the leader of the heretics. Now I'm going to try to talk about this character in the best way possible. Explain Val in a nutshell. nutshell. And um, uh, guys, it's a confusing character. I'm not going to lie. So let's get right to it. So Val was the p vice president or the chief deacon of Noth. She was the vice president, the VP of the... New Order of Ezekiel, the first call to meet. And 
from the backstory that the documents tell us about her, she was a foster parent to every sick kid in the village. But Noth, because of the, the Murkoff's Corporation um, brainwashing um, experiments, it led Noth to kill all of the kids. Because uh, it be- he believed that it would open up the Temple Gate to get into heaven, of course. And uh, Val, who who says in the document she loved these kids like her own, she felt very disturbed by this from the documents and felt very um, angry and started questioning everything um, that Noth said and even saying one statement. I feel increasingly this is a message, but not holy. Which is crazy she says that because it contradicts something else later on, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, but because Noth killed all of these kids she looked out for, it basically drove her to defect from the cult and build the heretics. And she did this by digging a hole into the mountain. She found people that believed the same as her. And she formed the heretics with this said group. But let's go back to talking about um, <clears throat> a little bit more about Val. So let's... I'm trying to think. This character is so confusing. I'm not going to lie, guys. The way they uh, built Val, it's confusing. I'm not going to... I, hopefully, the DLC will um, will help us out with this. But because all of this thing that Noth did, killing all the kids, defecting, she became obsessed with birthing the Antichrist. That was her main goal now. And she wants to see... The Antichrist birth and create chaos all over the world. I actually I want to say um, one thing, a, a, a little thing that was made. <clears throat> Val overall. So listen to this, guys. Val is a psychotic sexual predator whose life goal is to assist in the birth of the Antichrist to reveal, or not reveal, reveal, revel, in its bloody rampage. So basically Val wants to birth the Antichrist. She wants to be the uh, the, the mother of it. And throughout the game, she, you know, she's always trying to uh, make advances at Blake, Lynn. Uh, you, you see it when you play the game. You know what I'm talking about. And <clears throat> see, I can't really talk too much about her. Like the why is she doing this? What she's doing it for? Um, some documents because it it YouTube's laws now will not allow me to um talk about like no joke I can't. If you want to talk, if you want to learn more, I would. I'm, I'm trying to think. The wiki Outlast wiki. Go there. That place is great. Look up Val from the Outlast wiki. Um, to read more from what I'm not telling you because there is a little bit more that I cannot say on YouTube. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> so she is doing this. Because she wants to <clears throat> birth the Antichrist, have this chaos because of Noth and how he killed all the kids, basically. I, it doesn't make that much sense, I'm not going to lie. Because why would someone who cares about kids want to, or like from before, want to create all of this chaos? Maybe just because hurt feelings, I guess? I, I wouldn't really know, that's just my theory about it. But another little thing about Val is we do not know if she is a she or he is a he because a few documents said that she questioned if she was that her male female and even the de- developers of this game said or never confirmed it they just said hey Val was Val you know <laughs> so we don't know who if she is a he or he is a C. We don't know that it because documents always point to this being that we don't know. It's so crazy that all of these little missing pieces of the puzzle is in this game, and I, I really hate it, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I really hate it. That's why I got. I'm sorry if I got sidetracked with this um, talking about Val. That's not really that organized because I'm not gonna lie, guys. That's why I said it would be confusing because the way they've built Val as a character. It's like she is missing a ten puzzle pieces. 
and I, in the way I'm talking, is like that. This is like really all the documents give us that she was the foster parent of kids. Noth killed all the kids. She defected, and she became a sexual predator who tried to birth, who's who trying to birth the Antichrist. That is Vow in a nutshell. And she believes that she is hearing her own God and Noth is hearing his God. And um, <clears throat> from my understanding, from what my theory is, because it really doesn't even talk about this, the Murkoff Corporation's brainwashing um, outpost had a signal so strong with them that it made what they believe a thousand times more. Because if you don't know the the... the the outpost, the mind control station or whatnot, it delve it dove deep into what they believe and it exploited that. While like a thousand times, like not gonna lie, it exploited that a hundred times over and over again, making increasingly more. So that's maybe the reason why they went she went crazy like this from that. That's like the only real reason. And I guys I can talk a long time about this game, but I'm not. I'm in the video right here. Hopefully that helped. I'm not going to lie. Like, I can't say a lot about Val, like, truly go in depth because, um, again, like I said, YouTube. Dude, YouTube. They they, 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 they are censoring a lot of stuff because I'm not going to lie. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below. Subscribe for more. And as always, this has been 2x2. And I'll see you next time.